the pitch. Palm ball in there, strike one. Takes this the other way to right. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they want it to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first after their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board. Boys are flying around. Tyler Wade stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Nope. And he lays off for ball one. That would look like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0-2 and 1-1, and and but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at-bat. The 2-1 home. it down just shy of the wall and the side is retired. Down quickly go the Phillies. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Inside of the screwball for ball one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. No one on with one down. Digging in now, Ramon Laureano. Here's the first pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hard liner to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. And with two away here in game one of the World Series, let's give you a little refresher course at the roads these two teams took to get where they are tonight. Here's the first pitch to him. Javier Baez is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play. And oh so here now is the pitcher, number 78. He's ready for his first day B here in this one. Has a look now. The chase. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Harper looks up. Gone. So it's a two-run shot to right center, and with it, the Indians have taken a two-to-nothing lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on. the third now and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Hey Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. And he gets ahead with a screwball that's in there for strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence, he's got great body language on the mound, he's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Palm ball there, but that's in the dirt for a ball.
fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And there's one down now. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Peyton Henry. First pitch on the way. In the air to straightaway center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Brad Keller. Pitch on the way. Outside, that's four. Now the 1 0. Fly ball out toward left center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. That brings up Alec Bohm. He sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Now here's the first offering. Nice ball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Hit yeah. hard to third. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. And that'll bring up Tyler Wayne. Second base. First pitch on its way. Hey. Oh and one. The wind up and the 0-1. Oh nope. That time. hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Now a ball rolls softly to second, reined in, and there are two away now. Next, it'll be Bryce Harper. Right. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Rosario's got it cleanly. Throw to first beats him easily, and the side is retired. It'll be the pitcher, number 78. And we'll see what he can do here after going deep his first time up. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Bullet back up the middle. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Indians lead one, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Here we go. For the the first base. Infield in the overshift Three. here. Now the pitch. Reese Huskins yes. is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. The 1 1 home. And he fouls this one off. Here we go, guys. A one two. Bounce weakly near the plate. Throw to first is in time for the first down. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And this is low ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. This one, one, one's one. down to third. Ramirez is there. In time to first, and there are two away. Bases are empty here with two away. And with it comes Javi Baez to the plate. 
The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road. Oh, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Two balls and a strike Two to Javi Baez. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's a, that's all he can do right there. Man. You know, deal on a spot like that. That's an infield singer. That's a throw. Like just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Fires is off the first with two away. Short ball close, but it's two and one. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north south. Trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch oh, right there. Right. But I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you fall out on the basketball. And we'll go to the side. So no runs on. Ready now is Peyton Henry. We'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing nope. your confidence. Okay. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, he might have something. The 1-1. One, one. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Marte is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. steps into the on-deck circle now looking to start something here with one gun in the inning. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Guerrero is known to have an incredible ability to make contact when he swings the bat. Becoming a rare thing to see him swing and miss, leading many people to marvel at his apparent hand-eye capabilities. Especially in today's game, with such a high strikeout rate out there, he's becoming more of a rare talent. Yeah, just don't think he's trying to do too much. He gets himself into good hitter's counts and tries to hit it right back off the pitcher's hat. The wind up and the 0-1. This is on the ground over to first. He'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is. First offering. The second baseman. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty two good strike. night. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Smoke on the ground up the middle. He's got it. Throw on to first in time, one away. So next to the plate that fills. Bryce Harper is 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now here's the first offering. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Four hole hitter, Reese Hoskins. He bounced out last time up. And he lays off there, one out. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit sharply on the ground. And there's his first base hit in this one. Marte grabs it. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. Into the box now, Ramon Laureano. That's a ball. And that misses for ball one. No, no. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hey. Called strike at the knees. Even as the He's count at first. 1 and 1. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Three, Hard hit ball to 
short. Finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. And that brings up Javi Baez. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Looking up is the center fielder. And it's gone! Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money. And there's your answer. Great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. Bruce Star Graterol will come on now, and they'll slide into the seventh spot in the lineup following the double slip. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, deep pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. The fun Gets the ball in game three of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, if that last name sounds familiar, yep, it rings a bell. That's my nephew, Zach Plezak, on the mound right now. Right. Digging in next, number 78. Hey, no one aboard right for him, right and two him. gone here in the first. The pitch. Swing and a liner. But that'll land foul, strike one. This is lined to left. And that finds an outfield grass. It's a base hit. Boy, talk about being a game of inches, D-Row. That was a bullet just out of the reach of the third baseman. Yeah, third base is just a reactionary position, kind of a la goalie in hockey. He didn't have much chance there. He tried to make a play, get it above his head, but he was unable to get there. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Hoskins is there to make So next to hit is number 78. He collected a base hit his first time up. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else. But he should have pulled the trigger. Good curveball. Strike two. Lifted in the air to center. Waiting on it is Nimmo. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Stepping in next, number 78. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Giving chase is Nimmo. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this game. That's a jam sandwich, but able to mix in a knock. Now to the plate, here is Jose Ramirez. No career numbers to talk about for this matchup. Ramirez. On the ground to the right side. A dive and he knocks it down. Throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads-up play. One man out now to Cleveland 
fifth. And the next to bat will be Josh Naylor. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Digging in will be Cattell Martin. No career at bats for him against this particular arm in the past. That's made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they will tack on another on the sack fly and make it a 5-2 game now. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. One for two on his line so far in the game. Here's the 0-1. Hit to third. Feels it cleanly. Throw to first in time. And the big inning is... In now for Cleveland, number 78. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Number 78. A shot down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here it comes. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he chased one there as this is bounced to short. Myers feeds it cleanly. And a good throw gets him one gun. Three. Next for the Indians is the designated hitter, number 78. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Two and oh, oh, now. Good eye, good eye, huh? Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 and 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. And a jam shot here as this is sent towards second. Go in time, and they stop the bleeding as this. Now, this one pretty much over before it started as we give you a final look at the line score here and what turned out to be a blowout victory. Nighttime baseball now. That brings up Alec Bohm. And we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch on its way. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Hard hit ball to second. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Throw into second. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Now that is the way you want to start a game on the road. He comes out swinging and stands at second as the first base runner of the night. Now we'll see if his teammates can pick him up and if they can punch first. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled the ball one and one. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Reined in. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. So one gone with the runner at third. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. And he looks at his screwball that's over for strike one. One and one. Fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Rounded weakly to the one. right side. He's got it. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. 
Two down, no one on base. And that will bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. So Cleveland into first, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and that will bring up Reese Hoskins. And watch the pump up. It falls into strike one. One ball and one strike to the Phillies' first baseman. The one one. It's a ball below the zone. Two balls, one strike. Ball. Lays off the palm ball there, and it's three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Into right field. That's a base hit. Through first and hustling for second. And no runner it. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself in the scoring position to start off the inning. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count. Four, 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 and just four, four. past his outstretched glove into the left, the base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Switching up my energy, my enemies feel like I got hundreds of them. No, no, no love for me. Y'all ain't in the streets. Y'all is in. Y'all ain't me in the street. Y'all is in and breach. No deal, I like the breach. I call up my lawyer like never mind. They playing with all of these and this is money, but no, 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 never mind. I could probably never rhyme and still be a million up. Just a few blocks south of Lake Erie at Progressive Field in downtown Cleveland. It's the pivot. It's game five of the World Series. At the plate now is the designated hitter, number 78, to take his first tax here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ball, you got it. Bruno has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination, but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. If you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you have to throw the ball in the strike zone. And when you do with great stuff like this guy has, he racks up the strikeouts. There aren't a lot of guys that get strikeouts by throwing the ball in the strike zone. This is one of the few that does it. And there he goes towards second. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Hazel is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Stepping up is Josh Naylor. The first baseman. Runners on the move for second. Bounces to the left side. Scooped stand up. up right here. Stand up. Pick it up. On the first. Yeah. And the driver held in check. The... Stepping in once again yeah. is number 78. Yeah. One for one with a single so far. Out in front of it. Strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early field. Well, the first baseman is under it to make the play. Next, it'll be number 78. A hit in two tries so far from the stretch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Nimmo. And that will end the inning. Now 
Now at the plate is number 78. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's set and the pitch. And the fastball is off the plate away. It's ball one. You like the modern style of baseball. Here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. Hazley is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Classic three. I'm Matt Baskers. You've been watching the World Series.